Hello, this is Greg with 360 Audio Visual. Just wanted to give you um, a pointer with regards to hybrid meetings or an, an option when you're having hybrid meetings. This is a two screen setup here. So if you can imagine your attendees, and please disregard these cables that are on the ground, we just wanted to kind of show the signal flow process. So imagine your attendees in the room being able to see the presentation as well as the attendees on Zoom. Right now we just have two virtual attendees logged in virtual computers for the purposes of this video. But just imagine like 20 people on there. You can see them on the screen on this side. So this gives your in-room attendees the option of looking at the presentation when it's going on. And then also if somebody virtually is presenting they can look at them, or if somebody has a question that they want to chime in virtually, they're able to switch their attention over towards them and see them. So this just gives you another option. So we're going to talk about the signal flow. Let's start with the video first, and then we'll go to the audio portion. So we have the webcam here that is facing, that would be facing you know, your presenters, just imagine your presenters standing right there in the middle. And so the webcam is picking up the presenters. And this webcam is going in to this docking station here. And it's going into this docking station. And then this docking station is then going to this laptop right here. This would be your main presentation laptop where the host from Zoom would be watching or would be hosting. So I would recommend getting a docking station because this gives you multiple options uh, to plug in, you know, multiple USB ports and those kind of things. So we're using the docking station, as you can see this cable, you know, I just used an extension cable coming from the webcam, USB extension going into our docking station. And the docking station is going to the presentation laptop. That's the laptop that you see up here. So from this laptop now, this docking station has an output, has a display port output, which we use in a display port to HDMI adapter. And so we're going out HDMI and then we're going into this splitter. And I'll tell you why we're going into this splitter, because we want to have the option of the presenters they can either see, let, let's just say that somebody on Zoom virtually is asking a question. They can see and they can look straight ahead and communicate with the virtual attendees and, you know, back and forth conversation in a Q&A situation. It's basically the same image that you see up here, but intent, instead of the presenters having the always look over here this way, it just makes for a better viewing on Zoom because they're looking straight ahead into that webcam. And so the to the people on Zoom, it looks as though they're speaking directly to them, looking straight forward to them. So we got this output from that going here to this splitter. And then from this splitter, one output is going to this projector that presents, you know, the presentation. And then the other output is going to this switcher, which is what we are using to control this downstage monitor, what the people, the presenters are seeing up front, we're using, we're controlling it from this switcher here. As a technician, you have control. I have the presentation on, it's coming into channel one on this switcher. So now the presenters are now seeing the presentation now. So this just gives them the option, obviously, if they're presenting, they're looking straight forward at the audience. They can present and look straight forward instead of having to look over here at the screen. So they can look straight forward to the, uh, to the audience. And so this is what they'll be using, they'll be seeing, and they can make their presentation this way. And then when it's time for Q&A with the virtual attendees, then you can just switch it over to channel two, which we're getting ready to show you. And the presenters will now see the gallery view on Zoom. Like I said, the first thing, we have here your webcam is going in to here, signal flow, boom. And then it's going into this docking station. Docking station is tied into this laptop. And the laptop is coming out to this splitter via this docking station output is going into the splitter. And it's being split between 
this projector, we'll call this projector number one, which is going here. And then this other one is going to this switcher, which gives you as the technician control over what the presenters will be seeing on that downstage monitor. And then the second video display we have here is basically, it's gonna be focused, just imagine it's seats here and audience members. So this is focused on the audience. And basically if somebody in the audience would have had a question, then of course, you know, you have a camera operator here, they can pan towards whoever's asking the questions. And this particular video feed is feeding into you're gonna have an additional laptop here. So you need at least two laptops to pull this off. And it's going here via this cam link. So it's coming out from this HDMI mini to HDMI port going into the cam link and going into the USB into this laptop here. And this laptop is logged in as one of the attendees on Zoom or whatever your platform, whether you're using WebEx or whatever, it'll still work either way. But it's logged in as an attendee, and then this output now from this laptop is coming out HDMI. Okay, we're just showing you signal flow. Once again, please disregard the cable. It's coming out HDMI, and then it is going into another splitter. Here, check it out. So it's another splitter. So we're going into this splitter here, and then same thing. This splitter is going one of it is going out to this other projector here, which is going to this screen, which you can see the gallery view of everybody that will be on Zoom or WebEx or whatever your favorite platform, virtual platform is, gives you the option to see them. And then the other output from the splitter is going to input number two here on this switcher and then this output from this switcher, like we said before, is going directly to this downstage monitor. It's going here, here into this downstage monitor. And so whatever you have selected, whether it's this first laptop view with the presentation on it, or the second laptop view with the gallery view of Zoom, that's what they will see on the downstage monitor. And it just gives you the option, the flexibility to control it from here. Instead of having to run you know, the other option would be to run two separate inputs into your downstage monitor, but then you'd have to have somebody to switch the inputs like a remote control. This just is a better way. It's less clunky and it's a smoother way of doing it. That's the video portion of it. Then very briefly, the audio is, we have one wireless mic. It's going from the wireless microphone into this mixer, right? And then it's, we're gonna go auxiliary out. This is the audio signal that will be going to the people that are listening virtually, going auxiliary out into a audio interface, USB audio interface. So it's coming in here, this is your signal. And then it's coming out USB into your host laptop USB. It's also going out to the speaker in the room so your uh, in-room attendees can hear it. Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. We just have one speaker set up for the purposes of this video, but you'll do accordingly depending on what the size of the room is. But So it's being fed there and then it's also being fed, the audio is being fed into Zoom. Now I'm using this particular laptop kind of as a monitor. So I have a set of headphones plugged in so I can hear whenever the, the presenters are speaking, I can hear loud and clear whether the audio is coming through. But this is basically gives you the experience of what the online attendees would be experiencing. And so you'll see whatever they see and whatever they hear, you're hearing as well. And if you had any audio, if you're playing any videos or anything like that, we just come out from this output, the headphone jack, into something like this, a laptop audio interface. And then I would just hook an XLR cable from this interface and go into, you know, one of these channels on the mixer. Just go into another channel, channel two, whatever. And that way the people in the room can hear it. And then it'll also go out auxiliary 
same way as we did for the mic. You can just test out the auxiliary and it'll go to those people online as well. This is another option for you to use in a hybrid meeting and I hope you've learned something. Please like, subscribe if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. And if you have any questions, if I didn't do a great job of explaining it, please ask questions. Let me know. All right, thanks.